Let's get ourselves warmed up. Let's get ourselves moving. We're gonna start with a good morning. I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. I'm gonna be hinging at my hips with a nice straight back, up and down. So warming up the back of the body. Easing into it this morning. It is Monday after all. All right, we're gonna alternate. We're gonna do a good morning and then we're gonna do a squat. So then we'll squat, we'll come back up. Good morning and squat one and then the other. Nice. Three more pairs like this, okay? So this is three, two, and one. Let's stick with squats right here. So just squats, down and up. Pressing up to your heels, chest are raised. All right, we're gonna take this squat. We're gonna stand and reach for the diagonal at the top. I rotate through, come back to center, go to the other side. So squat and reach. Kind of gets into the hips, torso. Two more each side. One more each side. All right, give me a skater. So we're gonna cross behind, right here like this. We're gonna do tricep kickback, okay? So straightening those elbows, bending and straightening. You can start to hop this if you'd like. Just make sure you're breathing. Couple more here. Give me three, two, and one. Let's drag it or march it right here, okay? Drag or march. Circle those arms. And the other way. Now take it out and across the chest. All right, we're gonna take our feet nice and wide, wider than hip width apart, one to one side, and then the other, easing into it. Slowly feeling that stretch, warming up the inner leg. If you'd like, you can reach for the toes. We go side to side. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. All right, stand up, march your job. Hopefully you're feeling a bit warmed up. So today we're gonna to be doing an exercise they call the Dirty Dozen. Basically, we have 12 exercises that we do 12 reps of. But fortunately, we don't have enough time to do it 12 times. But <laughs> we will do it as many times as we can in the time that we have, okay? Problem won't be 12. So the first exercise that we're going to be doing 12 reps of is going to be squat jumps. You can um, cut out the jumping part and just make a squat or even a power squat where you squat, come to the toes, okay, that's an option. Or you can be doing our classic squat jump where you squat, jump off the ground from the bottom, okay. So just 12 of these. This will get your heart going if it isn't already. Here we go for 12. 12. Just a raise. We've got six, four, two, and one. Next one's gonna be jumping jacks. Okay, so 12 jumping jacks or 12 split jacks, okay? Here we go. 12. Six more. Three, two. And one. 
All right, next one. It's gonna be 12 lunges. If you want, you are welcome to grab like a weight, hold it at your chest, give your legs a little bit more to lift, okay? Your call, you can also do these body weight. So I'm gonna be doing mine alternating reverse lunges. We will end up doing 12 each side, or if you want to count them as singles, you can catch 24, but then it ruins the whole seven thing, right? So I'm going to count mine as a set. Here we go. One. Standing nice and tall, chest are raised. Nice big step back. You can slow it down you can. Halfway there. Got four. Three. Two. Last set. All right, I'm gonna be grabbing some dumbbells for some tricep kickbacks, okay? So we can do forward, nice strong back, elbows high, straighten and bend, okay? 12 of these. Stand tall, inch forward with that nice strong back, bring those elbows up, kick it back, and in. Halfway. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Our next one is going to be an overhead press. So grab whatever works for you for that. So if you're using like two dumbbells, it can be right here. Um, if you wanted to, like my dumbbells are pretty light, but then I have these, but they're really awkward, so we can hold one in each hand. So I can go overhead like that if I wanted. Okay, so do whatever works best. 12 of these. Get a nice sturdy base with the feet so you don't hit with the part. Okay. Bring it up overhead, back down the shoulders. Breathe for me. Halfway. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice. Our next move is gonna be a dumbbell swing um, or whatever it is you have you're using swing. I'm gonna use my cinder block for this. If you are using dumbbells, um, you could even double up on them. Like I'm holding both of mine like this. Okay, your call. So, quick cues with our dumbbell swing. Pump those feet a little wider than hip width apart. We're gonna be hinging at the hips. This is not a squat, okay? So bring this between the legs. Bring it out to about chest height and stop it using the core to help it stop, okay? Bring it back and back up for 12. All right, here we go. And swing. Use that core. Halfway. Four. Three. Two. And one. Our next exercise is going to be a sit-up. If you would like, you can grab weights and hold them at chest. So it would look like this. This is kind of awkward. I'm going to sit up here and then come back down, holding this at my chest. Okay. As you sit up, try to use the abs and that momentum. As you roll down, kind of roll down like one vertebrae at a time. All right. 12 of these. Let's start down. Here we go. Roll it down, up, roll it back, breathe, abs are engaged, halfway, four, three, two, and one. 
All right, excellent. I'm gonna be putting my weights to the side for a second because we're gonna be doing push-ups next. And most of us are not going to be using any weights for that, okay? So I am asking for 12 push-ups since this is the dirty dozen workout, okay? If 12 is beyond your capabilities, just go as many as you can, okay? You can do these from knees, you can do these from toes. Just try and have nice form as always, okay? All right, 12 of these, here we go. Count on your own. The reference I'm halfway. When you're done, you can come to those knees. You can roll your wrists, take a deep breath if you're still going. Keep going, you've got this. Okay? We're going to stay down here on the ground because our next exercise keeps us down here. We're going to be doing some plank jacks. So plank jacks can be done from a high plank where the arms are straight or a low plank on the fo forearms, okay? Um, if your wrists are starting to bug you, I'd recommend forearms. Otherwise, you can choose. So with the plank jacks, our feet are making the jumping jack movement, okay? So jumping out and back in, or you can tap out and in. And that works better for your body, okay? So let's do 12 of these. Here we go. Kick it out and in. Halfway. Two and one. Nice. All right. We're going to be flipping over onto our back. We're going to be doing some chest flies, okay? So I'm going to be grabbing my dumbbells. We're going to have slightly bent elbows. They're going to open out to the side and come back up to the top, okay? So I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to have my knees bent, feet on the ground, pressing that low back into the floor. Arms come up with that slight bend. They come out to the side and back up to the top, okay? Out to the side and back up to the top. Breathing. And halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. We have two more exercises, and then that will be all 12 of the exercises, and we'll start again. So the next exercise is going to be bicep curls, okay? Um, you can do these kneeling on the ground. Or you can do them standing. I'm going to stand up for mine with either option. Have a nice strong base with either the feet or the knees. Keep those elbows close to the body. We'll bend, curl up to the shoulders, and come back down, okay? Nice and tall. Halfway. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, the next exercise is going to be a bent over row. So you can use dumbbells, hinging forward at the hips with the next arm back, elbows are going to come up and back down. I'm going to see if I can wrangle my cinder blocks for this. I'll try not to drop them on my feet. Okay, here we go. Row up and down. Halfway. Four more. Three, two, and one. Here we go. That goes to the side. So that is all 12 exercises. If you'd like to grab a drink, grab a drink real quick, then we'll get started again. I left my water bottle behind the computer. So let me get that out. We'll probably move through a tiny bit faster the second time. Just we don't need to explain quite as much, okay? All right, get yourself a nice deep breath in and out. One more time, in and out. We'll start at the top. 
with 12 squat jumps or power squats, okay? All right, here we go, 12 of them. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. 12 jumping jacks, okay? Here we go, 12. Five, four, three, two, and one. 12 alternating reverse lunges. You can add weight if you'd like, okay? Stand tall, nice big step back. Breathe for me. Got this. Just a raise. Halfway. Hang in here. Give me four more. When you're done, 
and sit back and roll those wrists out. Okay. Take a nice deep breath for me. Next one, plank jacks. Okay. You can do that from the low plank on the forearms or high plank on the elbows. Okay. But you're going to jump out and in or step out and in. Here we go. Halfway. Two and one. Nice. You're going to flip over and do some chest flies. So grab your dumbbells. I like to have my knees bent, feet on the floor. Press that low back into the mat. Arms come up overhead. Bring them out to the side. Back up to the top. You can actually touch those arms down to the floor if you'd like. Nice. Halfway. Four. Three. Two. And one. Very good. All right. Coming up to the top for bicep curls and then finishing the bent over rows. Take a little breather. Stand tall, curl it up. It's halfway. Keep going. Elbows close to the body. Four, three, two, and one. We'll finish off with 12 bent over rows, okay? Then I'm gonna try not to drop these on my feet. Hinge forward, nice strong back, pull the elbows up and back down. Breathe. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job, everyone. Grab a sip of water, sharpen your breathing back down. <clears throat> so, fun fact found this company that sells these adjustable dumbbells and if any of you have tried to buy dumbbells in the last two months, you may have realized that this is like nigh into impossible. Hence my cinder blocks. Keep those feet moving. Um, but every week they do a, this company we found, they do a lottery where you can enter, you get selected. You win, not dumbbells, but the privilege of purchasing dumbbells. <laughs> and every week I enter and I cross my fingers and my toes. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. But until then, I will be creative. <laughs> or maybe when the gym opens, I can convince my boss to let me take some help. We'll see. All right. Hopefully, you've got your breath. We're going to start at the top with our 12 squats or squat jumps. Okay? Here we go. Halfway. Chest are raised. Four, three, two, and one. 12 jumping jacks are next, okay? Feet out and in. Halfway. Three, two, and one. Lunges, okay? I'm gonna grab a weight, hold the chest. You're gonna walk on and do the same. And stand tall as we step back. Here we go. Two. One more. 
Finish it off. All right. Chest up, kick back. 12 more. Stand tall. Hinge of those hips. Elbows come up. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Nice. The upper arm is locked out. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Overhead press is up next. I'm gonna do that with my one. Cinder block. You're welcome to do it with two weights. Okay? Twelve of these. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Next will be the swings, okay? Dumbbells, cinder blocks, whatever it is you have at home. You want to nice and wide into the hips, nice strong back. Come down, up to chest. Core is engaged. Halfway. Three, two, and one. Nice. Then we'll be doing our dumbbell sit-ups. Okay? So coming down to the ground. Weight set our chest. Roll it on back. Set at the bottom. Here we go. Sit up. Roll it back. Try to keep my feet in the same place so that they're not helping with momentum. Halfway. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Wait till we go to the side because our push ups are next, okay? Knees or toes. If you do need to start taking that number down, you're welcome to. If you don't need to, then keep going. Okay. Here we go. Keep breathing. Breath is needed when you're done. Let's sit back into child's pose, catch your breath. Let's a nice deep breath in and out. Shake out those wrists. Okay. When you're done, we're moving on to the next one, which is plank jacks. Okay. We're going to jump in, step in those feet, in and out. We're going from low plank or high plank. Okay. There we go. Take it out. Way. Two and last one. Nice. Whew, chest flies, okay? Dropping our weights, laying on our back. Bring those arms up to the side, back up to the top. Lay down. Feet on the floor. Roll back, press into the floor. Bring it out. Back up to the top. Out. Back up to the top. You can tap it with your breathing. Halfway. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to be standing up, going for bicep curls. 
followed by the last exercise, but in the rows, I'm going to grab an old dumbbell since we're using these cinder blocks for this one. So find a nice strong base with the feet. Let's curl up and down. Elbows close to the body. Standing tall, chest raise. Halfway. Got this. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Then we'll move on to those bent over rows. The last exercise. We'll go a tiny break. Grab your weights. Pinch at your hips. Nice strong back. Pull up. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Take that break. Have a sip of water. Whew. Nice. That's three times three, right, Noel? Yeah. We'll for sure get one more time through. So we'll do at least four rounds. We'll see, maybe we'll get a five. We'll see how ambitious we are. And then if you want to stick around for extra credit, not with me, but by yourself, you can always do the final round. Make it half a dozen. There you go. You all want to do that, right? That's all, what you all want to do. All right. 12 squat jumps at the top, okay? Four squats, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Twelve jumping jacks, okay? Or split jacks. Here we go. Start out with the cardio. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then lunges. Now that your legs have done all this jumping. Get that weight if you'd like to use it. Stand tall. Alternating lunges. Here we go. Chest are raised. Halfway. One more set. Two more sets. And the last set. Nice. Cut tricep. Kickbacks are next. Okay. Grab your weights. In short, close the elbows up, straighten and bend. Halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Overhead press. That's our next one. Grab a bit of weight you're using for that. Nice sturdy base with the feet. Take your overhead, back to shoulders. Overhead, back to shoulders. If you're tall, you can always come to your knees. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice. Swings, okay? Dumbbell swings, kettlebell swings if you have one at home. Super block swings if you're me. All right, feet wide, into the hips, bring it up to chest, bring it on up. Using that core. 
four, three, two, and one. Next one, sit up, coming down to the ground, holding your weight at your chest, or just doing body weight sit ups, that's also an option. You start at the bottom, you roll up, and roll down. Use the abs. Halfway. Two more, guys. Last one. Nice. Okay. Weights to the side. Push ups are next. Okay? You can do this. You need to drop some easier option. You need to do less. Those are options. Okay. You can. All ready? Here we go. Here we go. Not 12, sorry. 
six, three, two, and one, followed by six lunges, okay? Stand tall, nice big step back, here we go. Chest to raise. Four more. Three. Two. Last set. Nice. Tricep kickbacks, okay? And what about you? My body's just so grateful. Then I cut it in half. Inch forward. Elbows high. Straighten them in for six. Four. Slime by three. Two. And one. Overhead press for six. Get a nice sturdy base with the feet. Stand overhead. Back down the chest. Standing tall. Two more. Last one. Nice. All right, dumbbell swings, okay? Bring those feet wide. Nice strong back. Last six. Between the legs. Stand down. Three for me. One more. Nice. Speeding through. Coming down to the mat. Sit ups. Okay. And grab those weights, stick them at your chest, come down to the floor. Sit ups for six. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Your body's gonna be happy. You have to do just six push ups now, okay? Set so 12. Try and make these really good. We're tired, we've cut the number in half, okay? Let's give me six excellently executed push ups. Here we go. When you're done, come to those knees, blow those wrists, wrists, take that deep breath. Six plank jacks, okay? High or low plank, set up a nice good plank for me. Try to keep your butt as low as possible. Here we go. Out and in. Guess what? You're done. All right. We're going to be coming onto our back for chest flies, okay? So grab those weights. Slight bend in the elbows, up at the top, take it out to the side, and back up. Four, five, and six. Nice job, everyone. Just two exercises left. Five step curls and bent over rows. All right. Bicep curls to finish it off. Stand tall or kneel, whatever you need to do. Curl up and down. Two more, two, and one. You've got it. 12, uh, not 12, six, bend over row. So we will finish with, okay? You've got this, then you get to stretch it out. Grab your weights. Here we go. Up and down. Two more. Last one. Nice. Set those carefully down. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. I'll start stretching it out. Good job, team. Shake it out. All right. We're going to start stretching, standing up. 
And bring both my feet together, take one foot back. Nice big step back, pressing that heel towards the floor, slight bend in the back knee. A little bit more of a bend in the front one, okay? Bring your arm across the body. Go ahead and circle the wrist while you're here. Circle the other way. We're gonna release the arm, but keep the leg where they're at. And bring an elbow up towards the sky. Grab with the opposite hand and gently pull. Leaning just ever so slightly to the front knee, kind of tucking the pelvis right here. Nice. Release. Bring that back foot forward. We'll do the other side. So take a nice big step back. Press that back heel towards the floor. Bring that other arm across the body. Go ahead and add that wrist circle. Circle the other way. All right, release the arm, but keep the legs. Bring that elbow up to the top. Wrap that elbow and gently pull. Nice. And release, very good. We're gonna take one heel out in front, okay? We're gonna bend the leg underneath us and bring our hands to our thighs, hanging forward with a nice straight back, okay? If you have the flexibility to grab this toe without like rounding, okay, you're welcome to do so. If not, keep those hands right here. Kind of leaning into it, breathing into it. And stand up. Take the other heel out, hands on the thighs, push forward. If you can, you can grab for that toe. If not, stay right here. And stand. We're going to come down to the floor. Um, come down to your knees. Okay, for a second. We are going to come and bring our hands to the floor. And I'm going to bring one foot forward in between these hands. Then I'm going to pop up onto that back foot. Okay. Then I'm going to take both my hands so they're kind of like on the inside of my legs and press with this elbow into this outer leg, okay? Just stretching out that hip, just a teeny tiny bit. You can walk that foot around to wherever it feels comfortable. All right, I'm gonna come down to that back knee, bring this foot back, reset my hands, bring this foot forward in between the hands, pop up onto that back toe, and then bring this hand around and push the knee out, move that foot around to wherever it feels comfy. Okay. All right, now come back down. All right, we're going to be stretching our hamstring, not hamstrings, our quads next. We have to do this standing, and if you feel more comfortable doing it standing, you're welcome to stand it back up. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one knee forward, one foot on the ground, and then I'm going to come and bring this back knee up. Okay, trying to sit nice and tall and not lean too far forward, okay? Like I said, if it feels better to do the standing, please stand up and do it there. For me, I don't hardly feel the quad stretch standing up, so doing it down here on the floor actually helps me stretch it a bit. But if you can feel it standing, you can do it standing. Okay. All right, release. Come back. Bring that other one forward, or if you're standing, switch the other foot. Grab that foot and pull up. Breathe into it. And release, very good. Let's have a seat. All right, let's take one leg out. Then the other one in front, okay, sit tall, reach across the body with your one arm, and open the top with the other one, reaching for, you know, just whatever you can grab, shin, ankle, toe, knees for some of you. And breathe into it. And we'll sit up. We're going to take that other leg out to the side. Sit tall, reach across the body with the opposite hand and over the top with the one on the same side. Very 
Very good. And sit it up. All right, we're gonna lay down on the ground. Okay, roll ourselves on back. Take one leg. I just lost my mind. Take one leg down, bend your knee. Hug that knee towards your chest. I forgot what I was doing. Take that opposite hand to grab that knee and gently pull it across your body while the other arm lays out to the side. Now bring this knee back to center. Take that leg down to the ground. Bend that other knee, hug it towards your chest. Hold it here for a couple heartbeats. Now take that opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. While the other arm lays out to the side, try to keep the shoulder blades on the ground. Bring this knee back to center. Bring that other knee up too. You can hug them nice and wide. Add a little rocking motion. Just kind of feel, find what feels good. Enjoy this for a second. All right, our next stretch is going to be figure four. Okay, so we're going to release, cross an ankle over that thigh, and grab that bottom leg, gently pull. Okay. I think last time I also mentioned if this doesn't work so great for you, you can also take a hand to knee and ankle, and then just this bent knee can just press into it. Okay. If you may be a little less flexible and you can't reach as well. Then we'll do that other side. So switch, cross that ankle over, grab that bottom leg if that's the method you're going for. And release. Bring both those feet down to the ground. We're going to set ourselves up. So I like to grab the backs of my legs, pull myself up. Find a comfortable way to sit. Take one hand to the floor. Reach up and over with this other hand. As we come back, we're going to take the tops of the fingers, gently grab the head, and stretch right here ever so gently. Release, take this hand to the floor, reach up and overhead. As we sit up, grab the top of the head with those fingertips and gently pull. And release, very good. Interlace those fingers in front, push them away from you. We're gonna round at the shoulders right here, looking down towards the floor. Stretching those hands out in front of us. Now let's sit back up nice and tall. Bring those hands overhead. Reaching towards the sky. One more time. Then release. Roll the wrists. Roll them the other way. Shake them out. Very good. We'll do two deep breaths, inhaling up, exhaling down. Okay, here we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Very good. Thanks for being here today, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic week. And...